What's going on everyone? It's Joe DeLone Warrior and today I'm going to do a one year review of the, in my opinion, the best backpack sprayer for the average DIYer. So let's get started. So like I said earlier, this is my one year review of the Spraymate Backpack Sprayer and honestly, it's going to sound like I'm trying to upsell it or trying to sell it to you guys, but honestly, I really don't have a bad thing to say about it. And usually when I get a, a product to review or someone sends me a product, a company sends me a product, I'm going to give you an honest review. You know, lots of times there are affiliate links and things like that, but I want you guys to get a good idea what these products can do and what they are worth. Because at the end of the day, you are going to be spending your hard earned money on these products. And I want to give you guys the best idea. Uh, the best idea what it's going to do when you get it at home and on your own lawn so again back to the spray mate here this is obviously their tornado model it's a four gallon backpack sprayer it comes with the carbon fiber wand and honestly i've used both uh, stainless steel wands and this carbon fiber now and honestly this carbon fiber wand works fine again i haven't really had any problems with clogging at all um, as long as you are you know making sure that you dilute your liquids or you're putting in your liquids that you're supposed to do per 1000 square feet you shouldn't have any clogging problems like i said i've used lawn paint in this and i made sure i measured out what i had on the label and put it in here to mix it and i honestly there was no clogging drained it all the way down to the bottom everything came out fine and this one again no problems so when you get the backpack sprayer, you're gonna get two different nozzles. And you're gonna get this one here. This is an adjustable spray nozzle right here with the little screw end here. It's a little hole right here. And then you're gonna get a fan tip nozzle as well. Honestly, you, these both work fine. I mostly use the fan tip nozzle uh, for sp spraying foliar applications with my liquid fertilizer program that I'm doing this year. And then honestly, if you wanna get another nozzle, it, they are super cheap. There's a ton of websites out there one of the websites that I've used in the past, and I'm not affiliated with them, it's called sprayerdepot.com. You can go online, you can get air induction nozzles on there if you wanna put an air induction nozzle in, in, in the end. Real simple to do, all you gotta do is unscrew this right here, and then all you gotta do is take out that little fan tip nozzle here, put your other one in, and then all you gotta do is make sure you put your washer back in as well, and then screw it back on. As long as you screw it back on tight, and I've done this, like I've said, I've done this multiple times now. You should not have any leaks. You should not have any problems. So this is actually the flood jet nozzle that I got from sprayerdepot.com. Uh, again, uh, you go on their website, they have a bunch of different uh, nozzles. Again, this is the flood jet. It's just bigger droplets. It's better for applications that you're trying to get down into the soil canopy. Uh, so this is what I recommend for that. Like I, like I said, I'm just using a fan tip nozzle this year because my liquid program requires it to be on top of the leaf blade as opposed to going down into the soil canopy. So I'm using the fan tip, but either or will work great with the Spraymate backpack sprayer. So coming over to the side of the backpack sprayer, you have two, a nozzle right here. This is your PSI setting. You have a low PSI of 45, and then you have a high PSI setting of 60. Then you just flick it right there in the middle to shut off the pump. I usually just leave it at the 60 PSI setting, but when you get your backpack sprayer, what you really wanna do is fill this completely up with water. It's a four gallon, obviously. They have the markings right here on the front. Mine's obviously pretty dirty. Yours is gonna be clean when you get it. But what I recommend you do, fill it up with water first, put on the nozzle that you want, put it up to the high setting, and just spray out the yard. See how much you can spray within a thousand square feet, just to see how much your uh, gallon of liquid that you're using, how much water you're using. That way you get an idea of how to calibrate your backpack sprayer. That's what I did in the beginning for me. So now I have a really good idea of how I walk my yard, at what pace I wanna walk my yard, and I know how much I'm spraying out per 1,000 square feet. So one of the last things that I'm gonna to touch on on this backpack sprayer is the battery, which is probably the most important part of the backpack sprayer. I mean, this is what makes it go. This is powers it, right? But what's really cool about this sprayer right here is actually the parent company of Spraymate is Flowzone. You can see it right there on the battery. What I really love about this battery is that it comes out of the backpack sprayer. Obviously, I have it in my hand. You can press a button on here, see how much is charged, which I actually have to charge it after I get done filming today's video. But what's really great is that it comes with a cord just like this. You plug it into the wall. You take your end, 
and you stick it into the back of the battery and you can charge it. Now why I say I really love this is that you don't have to actually plug this end into the sprayer. The battery's not built into the sprayer, which I've seen that in the past where the battery's built into the sprayer and then you actually have to take the cord and plug it into the sprayer. So the sprayer's gotta be close to where the outlet is. Where here, you just take that battery out, plug it in and charge it. So once you get done charging your battery, you just open up your watertight lid right here and then you can just plug your battery in and then shut the door and you're good to go. So the last quick thing that I'll touch on is real super quick is obviously the straps. You guys have been looking at it probably the whole time now since I've been talking about the battery. Nice thick straps. You have a buckle that goes across the middle. The lid at the top here opens up. Obviously you have a little filter. These are pretty standard with backpack sprayers. You get a little filter uh, here. You throw that in at the top. You can use it if you want. You don't have to use it. Screw on the lid. And then the only other thing is the straps. Uh, and I'll talk about that here is you can adjust the straps how you want. Very adjustable. You can put them at the top. You can thread them through the top or you can thread them here in the middle. It's more comfortable on my back here in the middle. So you can adjust it however you like once you get it and what you feel more comfortable with. So what I have right here are a couple uh, iron products right here. This one is actually the Green Ore SP. This is made by the Lawn Supply Company. I've used this a couple weeks ago with the backpack sprayer, worked fine. Today I wanna try something a little bit different. I've had this laying around for a while now. It's an actual uh, simple Lawn Solutions uh, darker green liquid iron product right here. Uh, it's, it covers up to 3,200 square feet. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna measure out three gallons of water so I can fill up and throw out the whole thing in here, which will cover, it's not gonna cover my whole yard. It's gonna cover most of my front area here and my side over there. So I'm gonna throw in here again, a little bit, probably a little bit more than three gallons because in, in three gallons for me, is it covers about 3,000 square feet. So I'm gonna fill this up with about a little bit more than three gallons, throw this in here, mix it up and spray it out. So I just got done spraying and look at this. It's a little heavy, but there is nothing in there, guys. That's what I love about this Spraymate backpack sprayer is it really does drain everything bone dry in this tank. Everything that I've put in here, like I said, lawn paint, bio stems, liquid iron is what we did today. My lawn really didn't need that liquid iron, but you know what? I wanted to demonstrate the power of this pump and you could see there, I mean, that thing is bone dry. So there you have it for today's video, guys. You could see I absolutely love this spray mate. And honestly, I know it sounds like an info commercial. And I talked about that. I really don't want that for my channel, but this is my experience. I wanted to show you what I've experienced with this spray mate now for having it for over a year. And honestly, I absolutely love it. I don't have a bad thing to say about it. And everything that I've talked about is my own honest 100% opinion. You know, I'm, I try not to be affiliated with people because I want to give honest opinions. Because when you're an affiliate, you want, sometimes you're trying to upsell something and you're trying to get people to buy something. And that's what I don't want to come off as. This is my 100% honest review and I can say I absolutely love it. One of the things that I should have probably mentioned earlier in the video is the price. This right now retails for $159.99 plus shipping very affordable. That's one of the reasons why I am harping on this backpack sprayer is because of the price point. Again, if you want those other nozzles, go on Sprayer Depot. They're super cheap. You can get them shipped to your house uh, and you could just, you know, change it out, put another tip on whatever you want. You know, some of these, they market it that they come with these tips and things like that. And honestly, those tips are very, uh, very inexpensive and you can find them again on SprayerDepot.com, not an affiliate link at all found it on my own, go check that out if you're interested in buying any extra nozzles for your backpack sprayer. If you have any questions on today's video, leave it down in the comment section below. I'll get back to you. If you have any questions on the backpack sprayer, any of the products I talked about today, the nozzles, the tips, anything like that, leave it down in the comment section below. Go check out the link. I think $159.99 is very affordable. Honestly, it's so much easier than those hose end sprayers. 
I just got so frustrated with those hose ends priors. And I think we've all experienced that at some point when you get into the DIY, you know, getting into the lawn, doing it yourself kind of thing. You experience that just the clogging of those hose end sprayers and just it's hard to mix things you got to really dilute the stuff and with the backpack sprayer it's just so much easier so if you're thinking about a backpack sprayer go check out spray mate again it's linked below i think you'll be super happy if you enjoyed today's video or if you liked today's video, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. If you're interested in any of my other content, I'm available on Instagram. I'm available on TikTok. Go check me out there. And like always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.